<laughs> um, the first one is uh, is nothing to do with you, but it's uh, it's the fill that Mel Gaynor does in the Simple Mind song. Don't you forget? Oh, yeah. that. You know that very rudimental fill at the end. Yeah, he shook up the world with that. All my friends were trying to learn it, and we were, yeah, that was that was it back in the day. Yeah, that's one. My other all-time favorite fill. I think you probably know where I'm going with this one. Yeah, I mean it's it's the, it's the eternal question. How did you come up with that fill in Diamonds and Pearls? Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Um, actually, I grew up playing in church quite a bit. And there was this drummer who played with this visiting choir one Sunday. I don't remember where they were from or what the guy's name was. And I was in the, in the, up in the, the cheap seats in the, in the church, up in the balcony. And this dude was doing this thing, this the very sort of like this, uh, like a flamma something. It's like a both left, right. Like a black. And, um, I had uh, figured it out at home on my own kit, and it was just something I did from time to time. And uh, the day we recorded Diamonds and Pearls, um, there wasn't supposed to be, well, at least at the point of the, during the first take, I left it open because there wasn't supposed to be anything going on in there. And uh, Prince said, let's do it, uh, let's, let's, let's do another take. This time, uh, we'll take a beat out of this section and in that fill, in that whole, put something in there, you know, something you, you know, something you want people to remember. <laughs> and I went, okay. So the entire take, I'm trying to figure out what am I going to put in this space when it comes up? And I just kind of extended the fill and figured it out. And, it, and it, there it was, it was out there and, and out of me and onto the tape. And the, the rest is just, I mean, I, that dude is probably mad somewhere now. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my idea. That was one of my concepts. But uh, you know, who knows? But what he a might great be <laughs> What a great film. Did Prince instant <clears throat> excuse me, did Prince instantly sort of go, that's the one? Yeah, I mean, he was just like, okay, great. And and we left after that take. It was two takes <sighs> with, with a slight edit and um and the film. I just I was it just went through my head like, yes. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of like some, like some, some, because uh, it's kind of like Art Rocky. It's kind of fusion, you know, like Genesis or something. Yeah. Like, I need something majestic. I need something heavy to play here. And it's, that, that was it. But the fact that you've taken a beat out of the bar before, it, it almost gives the impression it starts on beat four rather than beat one. It, if you're listening to it, for my ears anyway, I'm thinking, ooh, ooh, because it's a three, four, then, a, 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 you know, I'm yeah, supposed to get technical, but it just sounds... Yeah, yeah, it's it's deceptively simple, actually. It's uh, it seems more complicated than it is, than it is. But if you're thinking about like an advancing, like an advancing triplet, I don't really have this sort of nomenclature at my disposal. I'm not. I mean, I took lessons, but all the technical terms for things that's gone for me. <laughs> but it's kind of like both left, right, kick drum, like a flick of the um. But if you just keep moving, it's, uh, it becomes this rhythmic displacement where it's the same figure, but it's ending at different spots. It just works perfectly. It, yeah, I, it just, uh, uh, I, it was a fortunate moment in, in my life and career. <laughs>